In the last video, we went over the post and get uh, super global variables in PHP and uh, what those relate to in HTML. Um, for the get super global variable, it was form method get, and for the post, it was form method post. So let's go ahead and change this back to post since we're making a, a login form. Uh, we'll change everything back to post. And you might have wondered in the last video um, when we echoed we echoed username. You might have wondered how PHP knew that we clicked the submit button. And the answer to that is it didn't know. It, when the first time the page loaded before we typed anything, it actually did echo username. It's just that username happened to be uh, an empty string. It just didn't, you just didn't see it on the screen, but it, it still processed this code here. And so um, we're gonna wanna change that because when, when somebody logs in, we wanna say, uh, for this example in this video, when somebody logs in, we're going to want to say welcome and then their username. But if someone hasn't clicked the submit, submit button yet, we're going to want to say, uh, we're going to want that text instead to say, please uh, type your username or, or something to that effect. So let's go ahead and find out how to do that right now. We're going to, uh, we're going to use a built-in PHP function. And this function's name is isSet, and it looks like this. And this is a built-in function, and isSet uh, checks to see whether uh, a variable has been set yet, whether it has a value yet, um, and and how it relates to to our to our dilemma here is it's going to look at the uh, the post super global variable, and we're going to give it uh, the submit button as a uh, as a uh, we want the submit button information out of this variable, so we're going to go is set post, and we're going to give it the name we gave our submit button, which is right up here, submit login. And the way this works is uh, is set returns a boolean value, and if you remember, boolean values we can use with uh, with if statements, and we can we can use boolean values with anything, but uh, we could put a boolean value directly into an if statement, and it will uh, it it will work just fine. So we can go if is set uh, so and so, and and this might look a little strange to have two parent two closing parentheses, but you can just think of it as uh, as something like this, where is set is inside the the larger uh, the big picture here, which is the if. Uh, uh, the if parameter, the the condition here, and in plain English, what this is saying is, if the submit button has been pressed, then do something. If the value of submit login, which is our submit button, um, is set, that means the button has been pressed. So if is set, and we can get rid of that there. So if the submit button has been pressed, let's echo. Uh, our user, actually we're going to have to move, we can actually move this right inside of our if statement. We could also have put it outside, but I don't see any reason of, uh, of assigning a variable if, if the submit button has not been pressed. So, so if the submit button has been pressed, um, post our username input to this variable, post our password input to this variable, and we're going to echo welcome back um, and we're con concatenating our username. And, uh, okay, that should be good. Else, echo, please enter your username. And we're not going to use the password uh, for this example, but, but let's just uh, see what this does. Okay, so it says please enter your username. So what happened here is when the page loaded, it checked if the submit login uh, button has, has a value, if that post variable is holding a value in the submit login slot, uh, then do this code. Otherwise, just echo this down here. And so let me clean this up a little bit. And so if uh, the first time it loaded, this was false. This uh, this is set function returned false because our post super global variable was not set for for that uh, for that uh, index in our 
in our variable. And so, and so since that was false, all this code here, after uh, the three lines underneath that were skipped over and it just echoed, please enter your username. So let's go ahead and type our, our name here and click submit. Okay, so now what happened is the page reloaded. Anytime you hit a submit button, you're you're starting you're starting back at the top of your PHP script, uh, actually at the top of the entire page, except for this time it checked if is set so and so, which was true because we did hit the submit button. Then go ahead and process this code here, and uh, and so it set our username to our username input, which was uh, corresponds to the name attribute of our input uh, tag and it also set the password but we didn't actually echo out the password or use the password but it still set the password which in this case was just blank and uh, it just echoed welcome back and then our username welcome back Bob Smith if we would have typed something else uh, um, Steve Stone Welcome back, Steve Stone. Okay, so um, not quite a very functional login system yet, but but I hope that illustrates a little better about uh, the post super global variable and also our first uh, built-in function that we learned about is set. And again, is set returns a Boolean value, and it, it uh, as far as I know, it only takes one parameter. We'll we'll look into that a little deeper later, but but it takes one parameter, which is uh, a condition, I'm sorry, a variable to see, to uh, check for a value. If it has a value, it's set. If it has no value, it returns false. It's not set. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll go ahead and continue with our login form.